Okay, um, test review. Graph the equation using slope y-intercept. So, what you do is you draw a line on your y, and then over here, you put a times dot on your x. Now, the number that's times by x is your m, and this is your b. Okay. I'll get a blue color pen so you can see it better. Okay, so m's the slope, and b is the y-intercept. So slope, you got negative 1 over 3, okay? So negative 1 over 3, and the y-intercept's plus 4. So on the y-axis, it's this line here, you go up to 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and then from there you go down and then to the right forward. So from there you go down one, 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 two, three. Okay. You take a ruler and you make the line. Okay. Make put arrows on both ends. Okay. Arrows on both sides of the line. Okay, next one, y equals 3 fourths x plus 2. So you got a times and a plus 2. So you will be slope y int. Okay, so slope, this is m, this is b. The slope is the m, so 3 over 4. And then the y-intercept is positive 2. Okay, so you go to 2 on your y-axis. Okay, go up to 2. Then from there, this time you have positive 3. Remember, it's positive. You don't have a sign, so it's going to be up and then to the right. So from this point here, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now you're graphing the same thing. Three and four, one through four is the same thing. Okay, see so times. That's your m. That's your b. So the slope and the y-intercept. So the slope is negative two, and then plus three is your y-intercept. Now you need this slope to have a number underneath it, and if it doesn't have one, you always use the one. Okay, so you go up to three. And from there, you go down two and forward one. So down two, one. Okay, next problem y equals 4x minus 3. So you have m and b. Okay, so the slope is 4, and the y-intercept is negative 3 because it's got a minus in front of it, but you need a number underneath on your slope. You make a 1 if you don't have it. So on the y, you go to negative 3, then you go up 4 over 1. Oops, don't just do two of them, two of them. Arrows on both ends. Okay, now it's a little different. You're graphing a coordinates, make a line, and then find the slope. So it's all right there for you. So remember, this is x, this is y. So you go to negative 3 on x and then 2 on y. Then you go 5 on x, negative 3 on y. So 5 and then negative 3 is down there. Okay, now you take your ruler make the point. Now I want you to find the slope of that line using this formula, y minus y, x minus x. So let's put the y's on top. Let's start here, okay? So, 
Before the minuses, I put the negative 3 on top and the 5 on bottom. Then I put the 2 on top and the negative 3 on bottom. Then I make a line, I take a calculator, and get one real quick. <laughs> Take negative 3 minus 2, that's negative 5. Then I hit 5 minus negative 3, and that's 8. Okay. Now divide that on your calculator. Okay. And if it's a decimal, just leave it as the negative 5 over 8. Okay. And that's your answer. Okay, next problem. Remember, that's x, that's y, that's x, that's y. So first I make the point. So I go negative 6 on x and 2 on y. Then I go 4 on x and 6 on y. Make that. Now you use this to find the slope. Okay. Minus, minus. So we start here 6 and 4 because the y has to go on top and then 2 and negative 6. So 6 minus 2 is 4. And then 4 minus negative 6 is 10. So you take 4 divided by 10, and if I got a decimal point, we're just going to leave it 4 over 10. Okay. So that works. Now on the next page, you're doing the same thing, okay, but you don't have to graph it. Find the slope of the line that passes through the points. So that's what you're using. Y minus Y, X minus X. Okay, so... 24 on top, 8 on bottom, then 4 on top, and negative 2 on bottom. So 24 minus 4 is 20. And then 8 minus negative 2 is 10. Now you need to divide. 20 divided by 10. I did not get a decimal, so 2 is the answer. Okay. Okay, next one, x, y, x, y, 10 on top, 7 on bottom. After the minuses, we put 2 on top, 5 on bottom. So 10 minus 2 is 8. And then 7 minus 5 is 2. So then I take 8 divided by 2. Okay, remember, this is division. I've got four. And then in my last problem, seven, negative three, and then two, negative five. So seven minus two is five. Negative three minus negative five is two. So now I divide 5 by 2, 5 divided by 2, and I got a point, so I just leave it 5 over 2. Okay. Now, last ones you're going to be working with some fractions. Write three equivalent fractions by multiplying, okay? So you're going to write that out two more times, okay? So there's three of them. Now pick a number to multiply. Go one through either anything from... Any, any number, but it can't be 1. Let's go 2. Then I'll go 3, 3. And then I times 4 and 4. So 3 times 2 is 6, and 4 times 2 is 8. 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 4 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16. Okay, and there's your answers. Oh, sorry. Sure, all of them.
all, the whole thing's your answer. I circled that crappy. Okay, put make sure you got three of the same fraction, and then we'll times by two here, by three here, and then by four here. So five times two is ten. Four times two is is eight. Five times three is fifteen. Four times three is twelve. Five times four is twenty. Four times four is sixteen. Okay. There's your answer. Okay, here two thirds. Let's write two of them out yourself. Well, times two and two. And it can be any number to multiply by, just not one. Okay. So two times two is four. Three times two is nine. Two times three is six. Three times three is nine. Two times four is eight. Three times four is twelve. Okay, then your last page, you're going the opposite way. Reduce the fraction to lowest terms by dividing. Use your multiplication table. So now instead of multiplying, you're going to be dividing. Now to find the number you're going to divide by, you go find 24 and 36. So we'll work from the bottom up. Here's 24. Okay, 36 isn't there, so let's go find 24. Oh, 24 and 36, so that's in row 12. So we divide each of these by 12. 24 divided by 12 is 2. 36 divided by 12 is 3. So that's your answer, 2 over 3. Now you're making it smaller. So divide, divide. We've got to find what we're dividing by. So I find 12. Here's 12, but there's no 16. So I find 12 again. Here's 12. I don't see 16. Here's 12, here's 16, so it would be 4 that you would divide it by. So 12 divided by 4 is 3. 16 divided by 4 is 4. Okay, then 2 and 8. So here's the first time we see 2 and 8's there, so it would be 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 8 divided by 2 is 4.